Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Master Paul. Very happy to be connecting with you today. It is the 28th day of February, and it is one of the three years in which we don't have a 29th day. So sorry about that. But it is a special day because it's Wednesday, hump day. And today, on my live stream, I will be focusing on the lower foundational energy centers for grounding yourself. <clears throat> There's a, quite a bit of benefits that can come from empowering and boosting uh, energy to our lower foundational energy centers. And today you will learn more about them and some mantras to boost them. Uh, this is something that you can apply every day in life. If you did, you'd actually probably not need caffeine. Uh, and uh, it's, a, it's a teachings from Master Shah. Uh, these are found in his book called um, Soul Healing Miracles. And so if you wanted to refer to that, you can. <clears throat> but that's what you can expect that we'll be focusing on today in this live stream. I did not do a, uh, a, a pre-post because I was so busy this morning, I just didn't have a chance basically. So I was not sure how many people would be showing up today. Uh, but if you're just tuning through and you're scrolling through and this ended up on your live feed, I do recommend you give it a try. I've been doing these live streams for almost two years now. And um, they tend to benefit a lot of people, at least that's what they tell me, because I'm sharing the wisdom and teachings of Dr. and Master Shaw. For those that are new, never heard of him before, here's an image of him. <clears throat> and he has about 21 books, actually, 11 of which are New York Times bestsellers. So you can learn more about uh, Master Shah by going to his website, drsha.com, or continuing to come back to these live streams. If you got to go, if you got to run, uh, make sure you like and subscribe and you'll know when I go live. And also, <laughs> you'll be notified uh, when I um, post any of my live streams. So looks like we got a good crowd joining here today. Let's see who's... <clears throat> jumped in here. Welcome Rose Williams. Aloha Heather Houston. Welcome also to Angela Diacomo. Welcome Larissa Wood. And welcome Kathy Arnold. Aloha NNC. Welcome Diana Victoria. <clears throat> Trina Jeffrey and Vanessa. Welcome. Aloha Paula Hyatt. Welcome also to Janice Crosby and Theresa Brady. Aloha Deborah Miller, Julie Abbott and Phyllis. Uh, welcome also to Seema, AJ, welcome Erica, welcome Lorraine, Aloha Scott. Scott experienced a miracle uh, recently with Master Shah up in Canada. He went up there for a blessing for his 30-year spinal pain <clears throat> and uh, it's gone overnight. And then uh, welcome also to Catherine O'Shea, Kristen Rojas, welcome. And welcome Dimple and anybody else I may have missed, forgive me. Thank you all for clicking on the share button. So while we're preparing for others, let us go ahead and prepare ourselves. <clears throat> Make a little adjustment here to the camera so I'm a little more in the center. Good. <clears throat> and so we start by placing our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position, like a prayer, but we drop the left hand in front of the heart center. Close your eyes and I'll invite in the beings of light. Dear our beloved divine creator, all layers of the Divine Tao Source, all committees in heaven, all angels, healing angels, and archangels, masters and ascendant masters, gurus, lamas, sifu, saints, buddhas, and bodhisattvas, all heaven's animals, all of the um, beings of light, including stars, planets, galaxies, and universes, beloved Mother Earth, the Sun, and the Moon, beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, beloved Amitofu and Kuan Yin, our individual heaven's teams, guides, angels, and saints, <clears throat> we love you, we honor you, respect you, and I bow down to you. We well, ask you as appropriate to please be present at this time to offer whatever guidance, wisdom, and blessings is most needed for each and every one of us for today's practice on the foundational energy. Please bless us to boost power to our foundational core centers and ground ourselves more. We ask the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony to please turn on. And we invite all souls in all universes to chant with us as we connect heart to heart, soul to soul. So let us begin. Lula, Lula, Lee. 
lu la lu la la li la lu la li lu la lu la ha li lu la lu la ha li lu la wo ai wo xian he ling wo ai tran ran le rong li ying rong he mu shi shang xiong ai ping an he xie xiong ai ping an he xie I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. <coughs> love, peace, and harmony. Ha ha ha! Thank you, thank you, thank you. So thank you all for coming today. Thank you also for trying to share. Thank you, Kathy. I see you ran into some problems. Welcome, Dean Forbes. <coughs> Aloha, Trina, Jeffrey. Welcome, Petra Marie, and also welcome to Jennifer Chris Smith. If I missed your name, please forgive me. Sometimes Facebook doesn't always show everybody's name uh, to me. Welcome, Judy Parker. And also, I wish to apologize for yesterday's live stream cut off. Fortunately, we got too close to the end of it <clears throat> before Facebook cut me off. But um, it's it was something that I think was probably I was very blessed because if you remember from the very beginning, Facebook did not show me any comments at all. It just showed me who signed in, and so I don't think it made a complete connection when I started. And yet, it held on for about 45 minutes, and then it cut itself off. Uh, and it says, you know, it was a loss of, of internet speed, but, <clears throat> you know, I, I run a, a very high internet speed, so I know that wasn't the case. It had to do with Facebook's connection at the beginning. But fortunately, we got some good teaching and wisdom, and I hope you got a lot out of yesterday's teaching and wisdom. Uh, it's, uh, it's always good to, um, to uh, look at things a little differently and try to go a little deeper on some of our core issues. We did use anger as a subject matter to address, to try to drill backwards on, to isolate the originating emotions and isolate what our true needs are so that we could turn it um, and take responsibility for it, process it out, because that's what tends to keep us out of our emotional balance, out of our, our core centering where we would prefer to be. <clears throat> so it was a, a way to teach you that, <clears throat> you know, it's easy to point to things outside of us uh, but sometimes it's not so easy to point to our own um, agendas, um, self-built uh, problems, and self-built um, ways of reacting and responding to things that we were unaware of. But if we take the conscious effort to, to drill down on those like was taught yesterday, then you could have some significant shift in your life and quite a bit more peace and calm. So if you missed that, go back to yesterday's teaching and enjoy it. <clears throat> so welcome Agot. Welcome also Becky Lafave and um, thank you Kristen for your comments. And let's see. Oh, welcome Johnny Mambod. So let us go ahead and talk about today. Now I did not pre-post, so probably most of you don't know what I'm going to talk about. But what um, what I did is I just came into the room and I said, "Okay, Heaven, what do you want me to focus on?" And it showed me to go to this book, So Healing Miracles, and I flipped to a page. And it instantly it went to foundational energy practices uh, in the lower part of the body. <clears throat> so there are many, many energy centers and there are chakras in the lower part of the body. Um, the ones that Master Shah refers to are all within what's called the Zhong, Z-H-O-N-G. And Zhong is a Mandarin Chinese word that means core. So in English it's the core of things. Uh, so the entire lower part of your body from your belly button down to your base of your torso uh, truly is a, is a very very important base foundation to build the in my observation that started early on when I was training in Korea about uh, 15 years ago <clears throat> um, a little more than that now um, 
one of the things that was informed me and one of the things that I observed as well is that a lot of the people over there were had a lot of stress um, and they came to the Don Yoga Korean organization and I I was a learned to be a master in that organization as well but they came to that place specifically to de to unwind their their brain and much like the uh, at least Japan and possibly other Asian nations <clears throat> there's a massive amount of pressure on people to um, to look good to uh, for the children to you know they have they don't have such a thing as as a summer break they just study for college in their eighth grade you know they just it's just a massive amount of pressure to succeed and be successful and make sure mom and dad are happy and blah 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 and then once people are in that uh, rat race of the business world they have a massive amount of pressure a lot of uh, business actually done in those foreign countries uh, with alcohol and after hours you know they they consummate deals after hours with alcohol <clears throat> so it just basically takes a toll on people's bodies and in their in their their mindsets so over there I witnessed what I refer to as an upside down pyramid which I'm leading to our practices today so bear with me and what I mean by that is they were like this at the base of their energetic structure and at the top they were top heavy so they were very mentally top heavy <clears throat> there was no strong foundation uh, and they had a lot of stress <clears throat> I found that same thing to be very true here in America a lot of us have no base no foundation and therefore we are like this and so when something hits us it's very easy to knock us over because we're trying to keep balanced on a weakened point a weakened base foundation so that's from an intellectual just an observation about humanity as a whole we tend to be very much up in our head very stressed caught up in all kinds of dramas that we analyze from our head um, and we're unable to actually address things from a common sense foundation so building on yesterday's wisdom and teachings how do we stay centered and balanced well a big part of that is actually grounding your energies and I don't mean this metaphorically speaking literally if you can turn the pyramid of your energetic bodily structure upside down and be like this instead then you like that be like this instead you'll be <clears throat> um, far more capable of handling just about anything that comes at you it could be the same drama that six months ago knocked you off your rocker and uh, but if you take the time to build the lower part of your body what's called foundational energy centers you uh, could be quite surprised <clears throat> how um, how well you handle anything that comes at you because if you think about it uh, if you are like this right if you are the upside down pyramid how do we do that again like like this right the upside down pyramid and a wave hits you whoa, fall right over no problem but if you are like this and a wave hits you you might slide an inch or two but that's about it because the wave will just go right over you and literally that's what happens when you take the time to boost and build your foundational energies so the core or the jong that master shah calls it has many many energy centers many uh, secret centers actually that serve uh, amazing and unique purposes <coughs> they and we're not going to work with all of them today but they include the hui in area hui in which is a mandarin chinese word that is the acupuncture point in between the genitals and the anus it's that stretch of skin that's probably a half inch or an inch wide very tender of course but there's an acupuncture point there and that's an energy point through which earth energies enter the body <clears throat> the way in point it's an energy point then there's the first soul house or what most people call the first chakra and master Shah's wisdom it's referred to as a soul house uh, and that sits just above the way in point okay and it's a fist sized energy center it's about two inches so if you put your fist up you can see just about how big your fist is that's how big the energy center is just above the skin and the torso uh, then there is <clears throat> if you go up the back of the body towards the base of the um, spine there is an energy center there called the um, um, I was just on the tip of my tongue give me a moment <laughs> Hui Liu, Hui Liu. Uh, and that's an energy point right actually at the base of the spine 
<clears throat> there are actually two invisible holes in the spine that initiate there and go up the spine and energies go through those two invisible holes. Isn't that awesome to know that, right? This is Master Shah. You know, he shares some of the deepest wisdoms uh, that you would have to spend 20 years with a guru before they share that kind of stuff. He just puts it out openly in his books. He brings the, the Far East wisdom that's been hidden from humanity for a thousand years and just freely gives it to us. This is one reason why uh, human, uh, heaven has elevated his soul standing so high and given him so much uh, power to serve humanity because he is helping uplift humanity. They, the more he gives, the more they, 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 they give to him to serve more. <clears throat> anyway, another uh, sacred energy area is the second uh, soul house, second chakra. And I'll talk more about these in a moment. There's the third soul house, third chakra. Okay, these are all in the area called the jong. So how do you define where the jong is? Well, if you draw an invisible line from the center of your body down to the base of the torso, and then from the center of your body back to that dip in your back, and then just draw like a half circle along your spinal area there, back down to the base of your body, it's like a kind of like a triangle in the back half of your body. <clears throat> but it's very, um, it's very much more rounded, if you will. It's not stiff and, 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 and flat. Uh, but that whole back section of your body is the jong or the core where all these uh, known and unknown energy centers are. So you have the first, second, and third soul houses. You have the Hui Lu and the Hui Yin. There's also the Kundalini, okay, which sits in front of the base of your spine about an inch and a half, excuse me, about, um, if you draw an invisible line from your belly button about two thirds of the way back, drop down about two and a half inches. Uh, approximately in that area is the, the center of your kundalini, also known as the snow mountain area. That's in the core of your body. Okay, are you starting to get just how important the lower part of your body is? There's also the Ming Men point, which is known as the Tao point. Very high level wisdom and teachings with Master Shah, the Ming Men point. That's uh, uh, from their belly button straight back to that dip in your back. That energy point is known in acupuncturists, but they have very little comprehension of it, of the importance of it. And so, and there are other energy centers in there. There's the Kun Gong, which is life essence center, and there's more that I haven't taught me yet. <clears throat> so think about that. All of these energy points and centers, some you've heard of, some of you haven't, and the back half of your body, how important is it to keep the area empowered? What do you think happens if we don't do that? We become an upside down period, pyramid that gets knocked around and knocked around and, and we don't take care of our energies. We get drained very easily. We need five cups of coffee to keep growing. Uh, after lunch, we're zonked. We lie down, have to sleep. These are uh, insufficient power in our lower part of our body. It's truly of the greatest importance. I will repeat this. It is of the greatest importance that you understand you are not a physical being first. Remember Monday's teaching? What are meridians? Do you remember that? <clears throat> Energy meridians are, are uh, you know, what acupuncturists use, right? This is how heaven and earth animate us. Heaven and Earth's frequencies, blessings, energies, and love comes through our energy body, comes through our chakras, empowers our kundalini, empowers our energy centers. That's, in turn, what charges up and boosts power to our cells, our organs, our systems. Okay? Yes, food is what gives us energy in this physical three-dimensional world, but the minute you leave here, you're a soul, baby. What do you think empowers you then? The same thing that empowers you now. What do you think Jesus and Buddha eat? They eat life force energy. So a human body has the same life force energy coursing through it. We just need to give it a chance. So those beings that actually empower their energy centers on a day-to-day -day basis, they can basically walk away from food and water with time. It it's, it's happens all over in humanity right now. There are thousands and thousands of people that don't eat or drink and they're alive because they're living off of mana. They're living off of life force frequencies and energies. And all of us can do this. We're just so stuck in the food world, in the 3D world, we don't think it's possible. <clears throat> so that's how relevant boosting... Uh, our foundational energy centers are. That's how really, really relevant it is. When we take the time to boost these energy centers, 
what can happen? Well, today we're going to focus on the first, second, and third chakras, uh, what Master Shah refers to as first, second, and third soul houses, and then we're going to focus on the Jong, the core. The first chakra is a fist-sized energy center just above the base of the torso. Give me a moment. And <clears throat> when we boost and empower it through a practice I'll share with you today, what is it impacting? Well, think about it. It is an energy center. It is not bound by um, the, the skin of an organ, okay? It, it's just like a flashlight. If you turn on a flashlight in a room, it's going to light up the whole room, right? And if you adjust the flashlight to brighter, 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 it will brighten up the room more. It's the same thing when we empower these energy centers. So what, when we empower it, it becomes brighter, brighter, brighter. And what then does it impact? Everything in its proximity, which is what? Think of what's in the base of your torso. You have <clears throat> the area where people have hemorrhoidal problems, okay? You have the area where we have all of our sexual genitalia. We have the bladder and bladder-associated infections. Uh, there is also, in the lower part of our body, um, uh, aspects of the intestines okay so most of that's in the center but you're starting to hit the lower part of the of the uh, intestinal tract so when you boost these areas what you're doing is you're giving food nourishment healing abilities and healing properties healing frequencies and energies to the bladder to the sexual organs to the area where, where your anus is. Also, with the base of the spine is down there, where you have the Hui Lu energy point. So the energy then goes up the spine and starts feeding and nourishing everything that the spine connects to and the spinal cord connects to. A spinal cord, you know, it's basically like a, like a, a really big computer cord. Um, it just spans out to everything and, and delivers all the information. So it needs food and nourishment too. Welcome, Atina. Welcome, Ruth. Welcome also to Peggy Harnish. <clears throat> Welcome, Nelson. Welcome also to Brajeshwar. Uh, and welcome, Nicole. Welcome, Michelle Blanding. Uh, aloha and welcome to Shelly and Monica. And welcome, Valerie Martinez. Welcome also to Jen Christie and Kristen Strachan. <clears throat> so that's what the first soul house impacts and affects and more. The second soul house, which is uh, in the center of your body, approximately an inch and a half below the belly button, directly above the first soul house. <clears throat> um, not directly, I mean it's a couple inches above it. But um, it's also a fist-sized energy center. So, you know, hold up your fist. Think about it. You have an energy center in there that big. And so what's in the center of your body, about an inch and a half below your belly button? Your large and small intestine, right? You also have... Um, aspects of the lymphatic system there is very close by there it reaches down and touches the lower parts of the body and it reaches up and touches the upper parts of the body which could include aspects <clears throat> of the liver could include aspects of the spleen could include aspects of the um, of the uh, uh, large intestine the diaphragm uh, the stomach okay and we move up to the third soul house which uh, and by the way the second soul house also impacts areas of the kundalini <clears throat> which will naturally be impacted when we chant for the Jong. And the third soul house, the third chakra, directly behind your belly button, in the center of your body, um, up above the first and second soul house. These, this one is very important. What does it impact? The liver, okay? It, and it impacts the spleen. It impacts aspects of the breathing of the lungs. It impacts uh, directly behind it, the kidneys and the adrenals, which are part of your kidneys. It impacts um, the upper parts of your intestinal zone. It impacts your stomach and so a gallbladder. So, and so much more. Uh, all of these are related to your five elements. I can go down that road for a while. But just to keep it simple, when you boost power to these three energy centers, it is impacting that entire area. Now, referring back to Monday's teachings, and we talked about the meridians of the body, <clears throat> what was the, one of the key statements in there? That 99% of everything in, our, in the physical world is actually space. 1% is actually matter. 99% space, 1% matter. So the energy 
uh, uh, centers of our body, clear blockages in the spaces, very important, because in order for healing to occur, qi must flow. Okay, yi dao, qi dao, blood flows, excuse me, qi dao, yi dao, qi flows, blood follows. Qi, qi is energy, right? Qi dao flows. Qi dao, yi dao, uh, blood flows, excuse me, qi flows, blood follows. So when you move the qi by boosting the power to these areas, <coughs> clearing the spaces, naturally speaking, you're bringing a great deal of energetic balance uh, to the zones. And then finally, the area we're going to focus on with these mantras is called the Zhong. It's a big word that simply means the entire lower abdomen area, including some of the energy centers that I, I briefly spoke about, but I'm not going to go into detail in. So Zhong means core. <coughs> so the mantra that Master Shah brought to us to help uh, benefit this is called Hei Hung Hong Ha. And we're going to build up to that mantra by boosting power to the first soul house, then the second soul house, then the third soul house. Okay? And then we're going to chant Hei Hung Hong Ha, which in essence boosts all of the areas. So, wherever you're at, <clears throat> sit up straight, bring your back away from the back of the chair. Welcome to Barbara Moore Bowling. Uh, welcome Elizabeth. Welcome Nina Midway. Anybody else I might have missed, welcome, welcome. Thank you for clicking the share button and letting other people know about today. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to chant first for the first soul house. Now in Master Shah's um, book, Dao Song, Dao Dance, he does a lot of mantras for the chakras, for the energy centers. And we're going to use those to boost power to the first, and then the second, and then the third soul house. So the mantra, which sounds like this, Hei Ya Yo Dao. Hei is the sound power for the first soul house. Everyone repeat. Hei, 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 Hei. When you chant, you chant as if your throat was at the bottom of your torso, in that first soul house. So when you chant, you go, Hur and you feel the vibration, bonk, bonk, right there in the bottom of your first soul house, okay? Uh, hey, ya, yo, dao is the full mantra, hey, ya, yo, dao. There's other parts of it, but we're not going to go into that today. We'll just keep it simple. Hey, ya, yo, dao. The ya, yo, dao vibrates the area as well. Dao is a, the frequency of the source. So it's telling the area, vibrate the frequency of the source right in that area. The next one we'll chant for is Hung. Everybody say Hung, Hung, Hung. It's spelled H-E-N-G. Hung, 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 Hung. Okay. And when we get to it, I will guide you to move your, your thoughts into the second soul house. And I'll remind you where it's at. Then we will chant for the third soul house, which has a different sound power. Hong, H-O-N-G. Hong, Hong, Hong. Repeat. Hong, hong, hong. Good. The last part of the mantra will be ha. Ha expands the frequency to the entire lower jong. We'll get to that one last, and I'll talk about that in a moment. So we will chant hei ya yo dao multiple times, then hung ya yo dao, and then uh, hong ya yo dao. And we'll do that for a couple minutes each, boosting and building power to the foundational areas. So you should write that down. Hey, ya yo dao, hung ya yo dao, hong ya yo dao. Because if you did a practice like this for boosting your foundation, especially if you're one of those folks that finds themselves always having headaches, always being emotionally out of balance, always getting knocked off your, your physical, emotional, mental rocker, even if you have physical imbalance, it's a good one for you. <clears throat> because uh, if you have significant health issues related to the lower part of the body, you have, um, for example, uh, any, any form of uh, genitalia issues, any form of bladder issues, any form of hemorrhoid issues, you need to do the first one, especially, hey, uh, you, now, hey uh, you do that 10, 15, 20 minutes a day, once or twice a day, you could solve your problems very easily because the frequency coming to the area will move the chi and help release the blockages. Okay. Uh, if you have intestinal issues, you should chant all three of these. 
what this will do is help empower and clear the blockages. Very simple. Your creative visualization, very straightforward. I will guide you to where to put your mind and you will visualize light coming in from 360 degrees into the area we're focused on, okay? <clears throat> so let us place our hands in soul light, soul service hand position. We drop our left hand in front of our heart center. Our right hand remains pointed towards heaven. Close your eyes. Keep your feet flat on the floor unless you wish to sit in lotus position. Bring your thoughts, your mind, and your breath down to the bottom of your body, down to the bottom of your torso. If you don't, don't know where that's at, just squeeze your anus. That's the bottom of your body. Inside there is a two-inch sized energy center. Visualize a golden light ball in this area. If you're one of those that has trouble visualizing, it's very simple. Just grab a, uh, a sucker, the round kind, you know, the Tootsie Rolls, and visualize you're putting that in your mouth, rolling your tongue around it, and then bite off the stick and swallow that golden ball all the way down to the base of your body. Boom. And now you're ready to go. <clears throat> And so, with your eyes closed, visualize the light in this area, and then chant with me. And what you're doing is you're visualizing light coming into the area from 360 degrees. We will invite in the soul world. So now repeat after me. Dear all of the beings of light that have been invited to today's practice, my name is Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher. State your name three times. I would be extremely honored and grateful if you could please bless my first, second, and third soul house and my jong. Please bless me to boost power to each of these areas if it is appropriate. I would be very grateful. Thank you. Continue to repeat. Dear all my downloads and treasures, please turn on. Please boost power to each area that I focus my attention on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so now let us chant. <clears throat> Repeat after me, or with me once you get into the melody. Hey, ya, yo, dao. Focus on the first soul house. Hey, ya, yo, dao. Hey, ya, yo, dao. Hey, ya. Yo dao, hey ya, yo dao. And I forgot to tell you where to put your hands. So I want you to put one palm over the other and then put it right <clears throat> down at the base of your torso with both palms facing the energy center at the base of your torso. Okay? Nice and relaxed. Continue to chant. Hey ya yo dao, 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 hey ya yo dao. Hey ya yo da, 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 hey ya yo da. Hey, ya, yo, dao. See, when I say hey, I see light flashing in. Hey, ya, yo, dao. 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 For those that want to see the words, Kristen has posted it in her timeline. Hey ya yo dao, hey ya yo dao, hey ya yo dao, hey ya yo dao, hey 
Ya yo dao He 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 ya yo dao And now Move the palm that is on the outside. You have two palms over each other. The one on the outside, move it up. Rest your thumb in your belly button and naturally roll your palm downwards so it naturally relaxes over your abdomen. This is approximately in front of your second soul house, which is in the center of your body about an inch and a half below your belly button level. Visualize a fist size energy center here. We will now chant Hung Ya Yo Dao, gathering light into this area. <clears throat> Let us begin. Hung Ya Yo Dao, Hung Ya Yo Dao, Hung Ya Yo Dao, Hung Ya Yo Dao, Hung Ya Yo Dao. Hung ya yo dao, 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 hung ya yo dao. Hung ya yo dao, 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 hung. Ya yo dao, hung 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 ya yo dao. And now visualize directly behind your belly button in the center of your body another fist-sized energy center this is your third soul house move your palm up to where the center of your palm is over the center of your belly button empowering and boosting energy into the third soul house welcome janet vigil let us continue to bring light boost power to this area See the light healing and rejuvenating everything in the area of the body. The organs, the stomach, the intestines, everything is getting a blast. Hong ya yo dao, H O N G. Hong ya yo dao, Hong ya yo dao, Hong ya yo dao. Hong ya yo dao, 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 Hong ya yo dao. Hong ya yo dao, Hong ya yo dao, Hong ya yo dao, Hong ya yo dao, Hong ya yo dao. Continue to focus. Boost power to your third house. Hong ya yo dao, Hong ya yo dao. Hong ya yo dao, Hong ya yo dao, Hong ya 
，有道。好<咳> ，And now we will chant. Hey, hung, hong, for the sound power for each one, and then we will chant ha for the jong. The jong. As you remember, is the core everything behind the first, second, and third soul house, straight back to that dip in the back, and then down to the core of your body. So when you say "Hey, hung, hung, ha," I want you to see light. Funk, 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 boosh. Hey, hung, hung, boosh. Hey, hung, hung, boosh. Like that, right? Bring in the light. It's coming from every direction. Boost power. You can place. Your palm that was on the stomach,、uh, place it over that dip in your back with your fingers facing downward. If that's uncomfortable for you, you can keep it in the original position it was in. <clears throat> so let us bring great light and frequency into our lower abdomen. <clears throat> let us continue. Hey, hung, hung, ha! 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 Slower. Hey, hung, hung, ha! Hey, hung, hung, ha! See the light each time you chant a mantra for each soul house, and the jong. See the light. Hey, hung, hung, ha. 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 Hey, hung, hung, ha! 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 Now I want you to squeeze your anus each time you say "Hey, hung, hung, ha." Of course, give yourself a break when you need to. Hey, hung. Hong ha, hey hung 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 hey hung hong ha, hey hung hong ha, hey hung hong ha. Silently, see the light coming into this area. Hey, hung hung ha. 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 Hey, hung, hung, ha! Hey, hung, hung, ha! Continue silently. Hey, hung, hung, ha! 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 Hey, hung, hung, ha. Hey, hung, hung, ha. Hey, 
헝, 홍, 하. And out loud for one more minute. Hey, 헝, 홍, 하. 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 Hey, hung, hung, ha. Hey, hung, hung, ha. Hey, hung, hung, ha. Hey, hung, hung, ha. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And now, return and check in with your body. What are you noticing? Any vibration? Any heat? Any movement of chi? If you had abdominal pain or discomfort, how is it now? Uh, how clear is your vision now? Uh, do you have more energy now than when you started? Please share. I look forward to read your sharing. This practice can be found in Master Shah's book on page 158. And there is also a calligraphy in his book that's exactly for this. Hey, hung, hong, ha. And so it's a good idea that you split it. You spend some time with your eyes closed, boo, 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 bringing the power into the area. Okay? And then. You can chant hey hung hong ha yin practice and trace the calligraphy for the four major areas of your body. <clears throat> for those that have uh, energy issues, low energy issues, for those that have um, blockages associated with, with uh, the areas as mentioned, please consider doing this more often. You can pick up this book on Amazon for a couple of dollars. Um, and you know in the use section and um, you have a, an amazing tool available to you that um, you can buy for the cost of one cup of coffee and it will be a whole lot better for you than that same cup of coffee so uh, let's see I'm not seeing any posts yet welcome Nella welcome Sanjita so either you're all wiping the sweat off your forehead or you're sleeping or you're just listening to me meander on and talking 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 so I hope not Larissa says, huge amount of energy and heat, light and vibration throughout her whole body. Lots of activation in these three soul houses and the Zhong. Excellent. Thank you for sharing, Larissa. <clears throat> and Larissa has a very powerful spiritual third eye as well. Did you see anything, Larissa? In these areas? Monica says her stomach pain level 10 is now gone. Very hot. Yeah, so especially for you, Monica, that's a, that's a recurring uh, condition for you. And so it's very obvious you need some boosting to this area. You may want to consider the, um, the cup, you know, getting the healing and transmission system for the lower chakras uh, that could boost a lot of power to these areas. And then you just practice with them. <coughs> um, Thank you for sharing, Kathy. And then uh, Atina, feeling the chi flow, more energy. Uh, Christina is watching. Welcome, Sanjita. Thanks for coming in. Um, so we just completed a powerful practice for grounding and boosting the foundational energy centers. <clears throat> it will help so much to give you life force energy every day. It's kind of like filling up the gas tank. You can't go very far unless you fill it up. And right now we're filling it up with food and caffeine and everything else. It's basically fake. And it's overtaxing our organs and our systems. It's putting too much pressure on them. When you can fill up your energy through these natural, uh, true, authentic practices, then you can do so much better uh, with yourself. Uh, Kristen says she's walking around. She's, she's our, um, I think, FedEx 
she works for FedEx or UPS, I'm pretty sure it's FedEx, and she's out delivering in this uh, difficult weather, so I understand it's hard to multitask. Diana and Victoria having such resistance to this particular practice since ever. Interesting, yeah, that is interesting. Lots of heat, body, especially where the hands are, uh, says Janice. And welcome Peggy Blank. And uh, Larissa said it, with her third eye, she saw um, a kookaburra bird holding a golden ball. She's from Australia, go figure, right? It's not like seeing a parrot or, or something where most of us know about. Uh, kookaburra, only in Australia, holding a golden ball in its beak and a pyramid with a beautiful heart inside. Awesome. Very cool. Third eye. So welcome Natasha. <clears throat> so um, this is Heaven's guidance to go to this practice today. So I wish to thank all of you for coming. Uh, I'm announcing that I will not be here tomorrow for uh, my daily live stream because I have a lot of responsibilities that can only be done during the time that I'm normally here seeing you. And so uh, I will not be here tomorrow. I will return, of course, next week as normal. Um, and let's see, yeah, I'll be here all next week. And then after that, I'll let you know what my schedule is related to going to see Master Shaw in Toronto. And welcome to Natasha. Welcome to Chana Rory, Shaman Poets. Um, I just finished this live stream. I hope you go back and take a look at it. Uh, it's very powerful, a lot of practice, and you will feel a difference. So thank you for coming, thank you for sharing. If you're new, you like this, make sure you like and subscribe. You'll know when I go live again. And um, love you, love you, love you. Thank you to all the beings of light who've come, uh, all of our Heavens Teams, Guides, Angels, and Saints, all of our downloads and treasures. Thank you, Master Shaw, for the wisdom. Uh, countless bow downs. All souls respectfully return. Gong song, gong song, gong song. Bye-bye, everybody. Mahalo. We'll see you later.